Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the project we're making today. It's actually a gift card holder. I made this this morning over on Facebook Live. So you open it up and this is where your gift card will go. I'm using my Stubbs card, it's safer. Okay, so let me show you the supplies. Because I've already used all of my pool party card stock, <laughs> uh, the designer series paper, I'm gonna be using Flirty Flamingo this time. They're both gonna look super cute, right? Okay, so the gift card holder part is actually a note card envelope, okay? The um, Flirty Flamingo base, uh, gift card base, measures nine by three and a half. The belly band is 10 by one. The designer series paper, this is the Subtles, and it is retiring, and it measures three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Uh, then we've got silver foil for the Starburst, Whisper White, for the circle there. And then our two layers for the greeting down here, the Whisper White measures one and a half by seven eighths and the foil measures one and five eighths by one, okay? So the first thing we'll do is actually seal the envelope. So I just licked that. Now in my live video this morning, I actually cut this uh, down to measure um, two and a half, but I discovered that if I cut it at two and a quarter, I could get two of these out of one envelope. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get my trimmer and cut it. Okay, so place it at the two and a quarter. Whoops, that's my scoring blade. Okay, so see that gives us two pieces. I just created this one yesterday, and so I was trying so hard to come up with a gift card I'd never made before. But let me show you, by cutting it by two and a quarter, it fits perfectly, but it doesn't give us much room at the top. Like the other one, it kind of hid the gift card a little bit. This one will not. So if you want to cover it up just a tad, you can use um, the original two and a half inches. So this is the one inch circle punch that I made that or I cut that out, I should say. I'm gonna get the Simply Scored Scoring Tool. I'm gonna to score this at four and a half. And I'm gonna score the belly band at five. Okay, so I'm gonna fold this over. That's our belly band. So I, we are focusing on gift card holders for uh, our Stampin' Anonymous tutorials for um, the month of June. And so I spent several hours yesterday trying to come up with an original idea, one that I'd never done before. And I actually come up, come up with a couple, so I'm super excited. Okay, I'm gonna use my liquid glue and add this um, designer series paper. This will probably be my last video this week, unless a miracle happens. Uh, we're gonna go to the lake this weekend. And after I get this video loaded, um, I'm going to be sending more catalogs. Okay, I'm gonna take the banner triple punch and I'm gonna flag the end. And I'm gonna give you the measurement of what the final is. And that would be four and five eighths, okay? When This morning when I was making it, it was a little too long. So I like it better when it measures four and five eighths. You can see how much I cut off, okay? So I'm gonna take the, well, let's go ahead and add the envelope before we add that, right? So I'm gonna take the sealed side, see where you can see the, um, you know what I mean, right? <laughs> Can't find my words. Okay, so I will go ahead and say really quickly, I did reach my two million in sales. Thank you all, you guys so much. I just botched wording that, but um, thank you, thank you, thank you. I know you guys have a choice of who you choose to be your demonstrator, and I so greatly appreciate it, okay? I did, I did reach it last night. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how it fits in there, just like that, okay? I'm taking it out because I don't want to forget my Stubbs card. Okay, now let's take this. And you could use glue if you want to. I'm going to use our retired stapler. Any stapler will work. Now, let's stamp Miss Bella. Don't forget the Bella and Friends stamp set is retiring. 
as well as the Suttles pack of paper. Okay, so we stamp her there, and then we'll stamp the greeting. Hopefully I can get this um, without messing up. Looks like I uh, stamped a little too heavy, but guess what? I have an extra one here. <laughs> okay, now let's color her. So I'm going to use Flirty Flamingo Light and Smoky Slate Light. And I'm just going to color. I've always left the bone white. I'm like, wait a second. I buy Miss Bella colored bones at the store. I don't have to leave it white. I can color it. And now I'm going to color, um, and although Bella isn't gray, she has some gray. She's a tricolor cabochon. Um, I'm going to use gray on this one. We'll pretend these are her colors. Okay, I'm going to cut her out. That sounds terrible, right? Um, with the two-inch circle punch. And then I'm going to take my um, foil and cut out the starburst. So I'm going to use my liquid glue for the two inch circle. And slide that over so that it's centered correctly. Same thing for the greeting. Whoops. I have to pick it up to see it properly. Okay, so now I'm going to turn this over and add, well, and I'm not going to add it there. Let me take it back. I'm going to add it here because I want this image to slide off when the belly band is removed. Okay, so she's going to go there and then turn this over and add a dimensional. Now these um, flower faceted gems are in the new catalog that goes live on June 4th. And I'm not real sure what that color is right there. I used um, the the pool party one on this project. I don't think that that's Flirty Flamingo. It could be. I'm not sure. All I know is, is I love these. So I'm going to attach the greeting down here at the bottom, and then I'm going to add one of those. Yeah, it could be Flirty Flamingo. I guess I should get the catalog out, but isn't that cute? Okay, and our final thing is we want to take three strands of the flax ribbon. Okay, so tie a bow. And then I'm going to trim the ends. And this one I'm leaving a little bit longer. I do want the bow a little bit smaller, though. There we go. Okay, and so I'm just going to take my piercer and a glue dot. Okay, wide that up a little bit. Place it right on top of the stapler. Or the staple, I should say, not stapler. Okay, so here's the original, and here's the one we just made. Super cute, right? Okay, don't forget there's a free inspiration sheet over on my website that has the measurements and a picture. Have a great day, and thanks a lot. Bye. This is the project we're making today. Blah, 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 blah.